Public Affairs Channel. Well, this is a pretty special day today. This is going to change the traffic flow in Sydney for the better. Uh, this is something uh, that we promised a long time ago, and in fact others have promised it over decades. People said it would never get built. Can I uh, thank the people involved in it? Uh, Transurban, uh, for their unsolicited bid. Uh, Lend Lease and Boyg, who are uh, doing the, uh, the building of this project. It's a great project. The New South Wales Government, in its election campaign at the last election, said there were six missing links in Sydney, and we would build one of those missing links before action. We would start on one of them. We've not only started on one of them, today we're starting on the second one. And in fact, the other one that we started on, which was the M5 West Widening, we finished. And it was some of the same people that are standing uh, here with me today that were involved uh, in the M5 West. So it's about making commitments, not wild promises, proper commitments to fix problems that are here. It's not building for the sake of building. It is fixing up the congestion and the traffic to make our, our lives better in this city. Can I welcome uh, the local members and particularly my federal colleague uh, Jamie Briggs. Half the money in this uh, uh, it, that has come from the government comes from the federal government. A commitment made very early uh, uh, in opposition by the now Prime Minister and followed up ably uh, by Jamie. I don't think there is a South Australian that knows Sydney Road <laughs> better than, than Jamie does. Uh, because he could probably name it better than some of the Sydney people. That's probably an indication that, that we're building infrastructure in New South Wales. There are thousands of jobs that will come out of this infrastructure. People will be working. People will be delivering a better outcome for the city in what we're doing. 5.3 metres high, uh, higher, wider, flatter, better. Better air uh, uh, and a better outcome out of this. We've gone through probably the toughest EIS ever in this city and I think it's improved it. What we've got now is the best result. Where we're standing today for the sod turning is the first part. This beautiful park uh, will be where the road enter, enters and builds a tunnel not directly below us but near us about the height of the Sydney Opera House below us. So if you put a Sydney Opera House on top of the tunnel, that's where they will be going in. At the end, this park will return to the way it is today. So that's a great result. This, this is a fabulous day for the people of the Central Coast, the people of Sydney, uh, the local members I know, uh, Philip and Paul and Matt, uh, and uh, could I thank Kyle Lowe's from the NRMA? Uh, from being here, uh, as well as Scott Charlton, who put, put the unsolicited bid in to, through our progress. Uh, it, it's been a hard, long process, but there's been goodwill all the way. Uh, the people from RMS that, that are standing here, uh, the people from the contractors that have delivered it, this is a great outcome today. Uh, and I think this is probably one of the proudest moments uh, I've had as a Minister for Roads to be here for this sod turning today. Tony. Well, Duncan, um, like usual, undersells the work that Duncan's done. Uh, there's 10,000 jobs in this project, uh, which is fantastic and really necessary. But it's also, I think, where Duncan's undersold it, a, in effect, completion of the national freight network because this will mean when this when this road is built there are far a few uh, traffic lights between Melbourne and Brisbane it's extraordinary uh, you know it will be that trucks will go from Melbourne to Brisbane bar a couple of traffic lights around Coffs Harbour uh, pretty much free when I was a uh, junior backbencher uh, in the opposition I was uh, privileged to sit right next to uh, the member for Barara, and uh, he used to scream out every question time, what about Pennant Hills Road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Pennant Hills Road? Well, Philip, 
<laughs> We're fixing Penny Hills Road. And uh, for Paul Fletcher, who's been an advocate, Lucy Wicks, who's not here, and Karen, uh, you know, this is absolutely city changing. It's job creating. It's what governments should get on and do. And this is what we are doing in conjunction with the best Premier in Australia, Mike Baird, and the best Roads Minister in Australia, in Duncan Gay. Uh, I'm privileged to be here today uh, as part of this. I'm looking forward to using those shovels and letting these guys get on. Uh, and I, can I just finish with, um, Lendlease is a great Australian company and they'll do a great job with this, but can I pray, I, I, I think people should understand just how much of a contribution Scott Charlton, who is not necessarily an Australian by birth, <laughs> but the company he is, uh, his company is a proudly Australian company working in the U United States, ironically, uh, but contributing enormously here. This project would not have happened without Transurban's ingenuity uh, and the work they put in. And I want to put on the public record my great respect for Scott and his company and why this is happening is because of uh, Scott and his company. So uh, it's great to be here. It's a great day. Uh, it's it, what government's all about. Uh, we are building, creating jobs, making a better Australia uh, because of Duncan Gay, Scott Charlton, Philip Ruddock and Paul Fletcher. Thanks so much. Well, if I can uh, just take a moment to say thank you <laughs> to the Matt, ministers sorry. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and uh, my colleagues. Uh, yes, I have campaigned very hard for this initiative and there are good reasons for it. Uh, people get held up in the traffic. Prime Minister was held up in the traffic when he had to get to the Central Coast and I think that was one of the reasons that he became... <laughs> an advocate for this as much as he used to advocate for the spit bridge but <laughs> putting that to one he side for that too, putting uh, putting that to one side um, <laughs> the constituents of my electorate and I know Paul's and Matt's are affected every day with the mixture of trucks this is a major thoroughfare um, and people are just wanting to take their kids to school and their safety I mean if we get this finished Without a major incident on Pennant Hills Road, um, we will have served people well because I have always worried about the potential danger of mixing traffic, heavy industrial traffic, on what are in fact suburban roads. Um, and if people understand that, the importance and urgency of this becomes so apparent. So I am delighted that we are starting. I'll be even more delighted when we're finished. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Scott. Thanks, Minister, and thank you for those kind comments. I'm actually uh, an Australian by choice, so I think that, uh, that I wasn't lucky enough to be Australian by birth, but Australian by choice. So it's a great day for uh, Transurban. Um, we're very excited to be here. We think, you know, the benefits for the community, as the Minister has talked about, sustainability, uh, the environment, what it's going to mean for the motorists, we think it is, again, one of those great win-win solutions, and we're very, very proud to have the unsolicited proposal. But none of that works, ideas are the capital that we're putting use unless there's a government uh, and local members who are willing to support and have the vision uh, to work with uh, companies like Transurban and our partners uh, in a very collaborative manner. And it has been, I think, setting a record uh, for time in being able to work together, and again, in outcomes from sustainability, the environment, the motorist experience, uh, a whole uh, holistic approach that's been done. And again, it wouldn't have been done without the government working with the private sector in a very collaborative and open approach, which can be difficult uh, in these days and times, but all credit to the minister, the minister's office, particularly uh, RMS, and there's quite a bit of people behind the camera here who have done a tremendous amount of work and something we're very, very proud of. And now we want to set standards with our contractors for safety uh, and community engagement as we go through the delivery phase, and we look forward to uh, celebrating the opening, uh, hopefully in a shorter period than uh, forecast four years, but uh, we'll keep the pressure up on the contractors. So thank you very much. Here, here. Oh, if, I, if I can just add a, a brief comment as the federal member for Bradfield, uh, I am confident that this project will significantly improve community amenity in the suburbs that are seriously affected by congestion on Pennant Hills Road today, uh, Warunga, Normanhurst, Thornley, Waitara and so on. It will obviously deliver improved transport times, better safety outcomes on a grade separated road, so it delivers many benefits and I particularly want to uh, congratulate all involved for this terrific example of cooperation between the public sector and the private sector. There was a public sector review process, the Perlman Review, which identified a preferred route for the missing link and uh, 
Transurban then stepped forward with an unsolicited proposal responding to that public sector process. So I think it's an exemplary uh, case of public sector, private sector cooperation, public money and private money going into this, New South Wales and state uh, Liberal, uh, New South Wales and federal Liberal and national governments working together with the private sector to deliver a better outcome for citizens. And I'm very pleased to be here today. Yeah, thanks, Minister. Well, NRMA began 90 years ago as a lobby organisation fighting for better outcome for motorists. It's undoubtedly that this is a great outcome for NRMA's two and a half million members. Pennant Hills Road has consistently rated one of the worst roads in the state. Our members tell us they get stressed, it takes them too long to travel, it's dangerous, you're fighting with fun trucks today, the list goes on. And whether you live around Pennant Hills or you live on the Central Coast or the Hunter, every motorist will benefit. And that's why NRMA has asked for this project to be delivered. And that's why we're very excited to be here today to see the commencement of the North Connects. So what does it mean if you live on the Central Coast or the Hunter and you're travelling all the way to Sydney, there's now no more traffic lights. You bypass 21 sets of lights. You're not fighting with 5,000 trucks a day. You're travelling 15 minutes quicker. It's safer. There's less congestion. It's a far better motoring experience. And that's why NRMA endorsed this project. And that's why we're pleased to be here today to, uh, to really commend the Australian and state governments on, on delivering on a winning project. We're happy to be here. It's a good outcome for New South Wales motorists. Thank you. Matt Cooney. This is a project that has been talked about for generations and finally today, after extensive community consultation, it's finally being delivered. It is an absolute game changer for my community and hundreds of thousands of commuters right across Sydney. It will improve travel times, it will fix congestion and it will make our roads safer. So to Minister Gay and to Minister Briggs, Thank you on behalf of a very grateful community. Righto. Righto. Questions? Done. All good? Fabulous. That's great. <laughs>